the vast majority, it comes down to comes down to unknown malware. Okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And malware is the problem. Sure. Okay, because people get into your network and they do things you don't want them doing. Um, and everybody invests heavily in sweeping their systems for malware. Well, that's great for finding malware everybody's seen before that's already got a signature. Right. So you're sweeping all the, the software on your computer. All, all the big names. Right. Yeah. That, that's got a, that's a DLL in it. It's got a little smudge in it. Well, that's, you know, no, that's not petty or that's this or that or the other malware. What we find in the kind of the hallmark of the approach of looking for behavior, looking for attacks in progress rather than signatures or vulnerabilities, we will, generally speaking, far more often than not, okay, the majority of the cases, we find malware, we find signs of malware that have no signatures. Just this morning, we were working with a, with a client and we told them, hey, you know what? Um, we, we, you th- we, I think you've got malware on this one particular computer. And we gave him the IP address. You know, I was wondering about that one. Mm. We just installed that in the front so that one of the uh, one of the interns could have some connectivity. And I was wondering about it. And we and we swept it. There was no malware on it. And I told him, you got malware on the machine. OK, uh, you're, you're, you're not going to find it. And I'll tell you how we, I know it's because it's doing. Well, it just. And obviously, we're not going to we can't give the you know too much detail, but <laughs> you, of course, but it was doing a very standard kind of a diagnostic uh, operation. You know, uh, it, it was an SMP sweep. OK, but it was doing it in a way that was quite invasive, not normal. OK, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. we found another case in a production environment in, in over in Europe This is last week. Uh, place, a place that is generating electricity. Okay, there's turbines gener- generators in there. All right, and they had. We found nine machines in that environment that were doing ping sweeps, not ping sweeps, port scans, port scans. Right. Okay. You look, around, you sweep around the network looking for open ports, and that's a it's a it's a tool. Mm-hmm. A lot of people mm-hmm. use those just to know what you got. Right. That's sure. a way of doing asset inventory. Okay. And our AI said. Eight of those, you shouldn't be doing that in an OT environment because it kind of destabilizes the switches. But that's a low level alert. That's you shouldn't be doing ping, ping, uh, port scans. All right, that, that's an IT tool, not an OT tool. One out of the nine, our AI kicked out a high severity alert because it was doing a port scan, but there were more than not one, but two different aspects of how it did it. Mm-hmm. that were obviously designed to evade detection. Wow. Man, yeah. this is a... Smoking gun. Some that is smoking stuff gun here. malware. Yeah. yeah. That's malware. Okay. Absolutely. And, and they, obviously they sweeped it, and they, 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 they you know did the antivirus. These are good guys. Mm-hmm. They, they spent a lot of money on security and a lot of money on developing practices and expertise, but there's no signature for this for this malware, so they, did, they didn't find it, but we yeah. found it through the behavior, all right, and they were like, oh my God, that's just... You know, jaw, your jaw drops because yeah, you, yeah, it's obvious it shouldn't be doing that. Mm-hmm. All right, and and again, the bad guys are good at what they do, so the behavior was hidden. It was it's right. yeah, they they, they they hide their tracks so you won't detect them, and that's what you know. A, a, an AI, if trained properly, is good at finding those little signals that are going to go right past your eyes. How about some free cybersecurity training resources for you and your team? Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to get ebooks, training guides, and more than 100 cybersecurity training courses, all free for cyber work listeners. Go to infosecinstitute.com slash free and start learning crucial new skills today.